This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 1SR4U at checkout for free shipping within the U.S. on any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing video of a pair of Nike Tiempo Mystic 4s in indoor in the brand new blue and white colorway. Um, this is the new colorway with that. It's going to have all the ACC coatings on the top end versions of the outdoor version. But I thought I'd bring in the indoor version simply because I could get them a little bit early. And I haven't brought in a Tiempo Mystic indoor yet, so I thought I would bring one in just to do a small little review for you guys. Um, the full written review should be up on the website in a few weeks or so. But as far as the unboxing video goes, um, I, I know you guys are probably waiting for the outdoor versions of the Tiempo Legend 4. I will be getting it very, very shortly, as well as the rest of the ACC shoes from Nike. So just stay tuned for that. But as far as the color on these particular shoes go, um, it's really cool. It's like this, uh, it's that same sore blue that we've seen used on the laser. Uh, I believe they only used it on the laser, but they may have used it on the Vapor 8 as well. But it kind of has this metallic tinge to it on this particular version, which I think looks really sharp in person. If you want a better idea as to how the color accuracy of the shoe, go ahead and check out the link in the description to the review page on my website. And you'll be able to see some kind of close up pictures with really good lighting. I do my best in those pictures to make sure that the color looks like it does in person. So just go ahead and check that out if that does interest you, if you just want to see what it actually does look like in person. Sometimes it's a little bit different than what you would see in the online soft photos. But as far as the Mystic Indoor goes, it's uh, one of your very few options from Nike for a, a natural leather indoor soccer shoe. And uh, what you have here is, a, like I said, a natural full grain leather at the front here. Um, pretty much the same amount you would get on the Legend. It runs right about here from the outside of the shoe, the entire forefoot, and spans right about here. And it's a pretty soft, good quality leather, especially for a shoe that retails at about $80. Of course, you can get them for a little bit less should it be an older colorway. While the midfoot of the shoe is a synthetic leather material, that seems to be pretty good quality, especially given how cheap the shoe is. But uh, as far as other elements on the indoor version that you wouldn't get on the outdoor version, you get this suede heel, suede, sorry, suede toe cap, which you would get on the turf version as well. And that's there mainly for durability. It's not going to allow the toe to scuff up and it, you're not going to have any issues with the toe wearing away. And it's just going to keep the durability of the shoe really good. You can see that the, the front of the shoe is also stitched with this kind of nylon strip. Um, so you're not going to have any, any issues with the toe separating at all, making this a really durable option. If you do want to use them on an indoor court or even in the street, you shouldn't have any issues with uh, kind of ripping or tearing or anything like that. Um, same graphic here on the heel, but as far as the sole is concerned, what's great about these shoes, a lot of, a lot of the Nike indoor shoes, is that there's a, a fair amount of EVA foam through the heel and midfoot, so a lot of people kind of have issues, including myself, with having not enough cushioning in the indoor shoes, um, especially on hard indoor court surfaces, it's really hard on your joints, so having that little bit of extra cushion on here kind of helps me a little bit as, as far as feeling more comfortable, kind of avoiding any kind of discomfort or blistering, or just impact injuries that can occur if you don't have enough padding everybody's different of course that's just my personal preference i just like to have that little bit of extra cushion in the shoe uh, when i'm playing on those hard surfaces but as far as the sole is concerned you have a gum rubber sole which is really nice quality again for that especially for that 80 dollars price point really good quality gum rubber sole you're gonna get plenty of grip on an indoor court surface and for the street though just keep in mind gum rubber is a softer type of rubber so it's gonna wear away a little bit quicker than a harder rubber would especially if you're gonna be wearing them on cement or concrete anything like that where the ground's gonna be a little bit rough you may have some issues with wearing away but there seems to be a good amount of rubber on this particular sole so it shouldn't have too many issues right away but other than that guys that's it for my unboxing video for the Tiempo Mystic 4 in indoor uh, like i said the full interview should be up on the review page of my website again that link will be in the description in about a couple of weeks or so but in the meantime if you want to check out the buy it now links with the best prices online including some exclusive coupon codes for sr4u members to get you guys some additional discounts on these shoes as well as the high quality pictures all of that can be found on the review page so go ahead and check that out if that does interest you and uh, any questions you guys have related to this particular shoe go ahead and leave a comment down below and any questions you guys have not related to the video, go ahead and leave a comment on my Facebook page. There will be a link in the description to that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.